Welcome back to another episode of the uh, Gapster channel. Uh, today I'm going to talk about uh, speaker cables. Yes, uh, it's kind of a subject that's led a lot of controversy. But uh, my style is I'm not a big fan of you know spending uh, a fortune on cables. Uh, I'd rather spend more money on the speakers themselves rather than the actual cables but still I would like to get the, as close as I could get to those very high-end cables and I found a couple cables that I would like to uh, share with, with you guys some of you may know about them some, uh, some not but I would like to uh, show you a couple cables that I would uh, recommend that I thought would be uh, really high-end cables at uh, low end prices. All right. So the first cable I'd like to talk about is probably my favorite. Is this one here? Uh, it's called a, a 12 TC, and basically what it is it's a 24 core. So there's 12 positive, 12 negative, and uh, and in between it's an air core basically in the middle and they're woven together so you get basically the best of everything and uh, they claim to be continuous uh, copper so OCC so this is not OFC OFC means oxygen free copper which is very good but OCC is one step above so it's one strand of copper that's stretched as a one cast so and uh, so you get even more uh, purity and uh, more conductance and uh, the way it's woven and the air core gives you a lot uh, a really low skin effect and uh, you can terminate these in a different way so you basically spread them apart and uh, get your positive and in my case here I, I did this so I spread them apart and uh, you get the uh, white strands here and the uh, it's just a, just a color difference just to identify plus and negative uh, positive and negative and uh, and I opted uh, for myself here they just twisted and just I soldered the end so they don't frail and uh, the way I use them is uh, the embodying post and tightened straight on the wire there's many series about how to terminate wire and everybody has their own way this is my way uh, it is the cheapest I believe it's the uh, best uh, because you get direct contact eliminating all the middle things uh, the only drawback about this method is the copper will tarnish over time means from time to time every six months or a year or so whatever you might want to expose a new layer of copper if you do that you'll be, you'll be okay and also tighten your binding post from time to time this is another subject but let's stick to the wires so yeah so we have basically 24 cores so 12 plus 12 it's called 12 TC I'll put a link below I have no affiliation with these guys I don't get any money from anyone all my stuff is just pure for the love of uh, audio and hi-fi so uh, yeah, and uh, these are very thick wires. When you add 12 cores, I actually measured, and uh, even at the tightest, it came like to 3.6, uh, 3.8 millimeters, which is like a 7 gauge. So, two 7 gauge wires. This is like very big wire, so you got low uh, DC resistance. <coughs> And uh, the capacitance may be slightly higher than some other wires because of their intricacies, the way they're woven, but at the capacitance of the frequency we are listening to up to 20 kilohertz has no real relevance. So if you can see online many articles about that, there's very little relevance about it. It's very, it starts to creep up on you as the frequencies go higher, but not till you get to 100 kilohertz when it starts to really see a difference. So, so you have a really good wire, and you could buy it for basically at about three to four dollars a foot. This is uh, what other companies will probably charge you hundreds, if not thousands, of dollars for a couple pieces of uh, maybe five, six feet each, or ten feet each. So, 
you're getting this uh, this TL. I'll post a link and I'll show you to you on the website. A couple of things. So this is uh, number one. <coughs> the second one I would like to talk about. It's a cheaper grade uh, for people who have you know just a regular pair of speakers, background music, something that you maybe don't want to even spend four or five dollars uh, per per foot. But I still think this is a bargain. But nevertheless. Uh, you can buy this one, and uh, this one I picked off Amazon. It's a 10 gauge oxygen free uh, copper. Uh, so you got very low DC resistance because of the it's a 10 gauge. I actually did measure it, and it is 10 gauge. Uh, it came to, if I remember correctly, yeah, around 2.8 million years. So it's it's not bad. The, the companies uh, they claim to be 99. 0.9% oxygen free copper. It looks decent and uh, it's a pretty good wire at pretty much a dollar a foot. So I think a dollar Canadian here, so that's probably even less in the US or other countries. Uh, so, yeah, so this is a very good wire at a dollar a foot, you know, a couple pieces, you get, you know, $20, $50, and you get your nice, a nice, decent uh, pair of wires. Uh, what I am doing in my uh, uh, big speakers, I sometimes, uh, my speakers, I'm running them as uh, basically like by amping them. So I'm sending a separate amp and sending to the woofer and a separate amp to the mid and tweeter. So this is going to be for the mid and tweeter section and for the woofer, I have actually two of these, so imagine two of them together, and you can see them right here, so one and two, and they're actually, I put a shielding, you can buy some shielding, and you can, um, it's pretty cheap to buy, and basically you can cover it, it's mostly for cosmetic effect really, it's not that much of a huge difference by adding those. And uh, so yeah, so I get two of these, so it's like two 10 gauge and uh, in this case, I've terminated them with bananas on one side. I believe the other side is terminated with the method I told you before, just a straight bare wire with a bit of solder at the end so they don't fray. And uh, so two of these are going to go to the woofer part, and this one will be mid and uh, tweeter. But, I mean, this is... Just an example, you can have so many ways you can use it. You could just use this and you're by far doing great. Uh, so, or some people want to spend the big dollars and spend thousands of dollars on two pieces of speaker wire. It's fine if they can afford that, that's great. But for most of us who wants to try to get the best bang for the dollar, I think these cables are, are really great. I've seen some people stuffing these with like a rope uh, to make the the, uh, the hole basically bigger and the circle bigger and that kind of reduces uh, more inductance a little bit. Uh, I don't see big, you don't, uh, I prefer leaving them alone as an air core, uh, but you can and uh, there might be some minor benefits. Uh, it'll be debatable thing to uh, whether it is or not. But uh, yeah, I'll just quickly show you a couple, uh, just a close-up on the uh, on the different characteristic and this way you know what to search for. I will put a couple links below but the links keeps changing over time so it's best sometimes to know what you are going to search for and if you search with the right term you, you will find the right key. So this is the first cable. Uh, I ordered this one from uh, from AliExpress, basically. And uh, by the meter, you could see the price here is ten dollars US per meter. So if you order uh, in larger quantity, it gets a little bit cheaper. Uh, so roughly around uh, so that comes to like about three three dollars and a little bit. In, or per foot and uh, and you could see the construction here the way they just to give you an idea but the secret term to look for is this 12 TC speaker wire if you google 12 TC speaker wire you will 
you will find this everywhere on eBay. You'll find it every, pretty much everywhere. Uh, it was cheaper to order the Valley Express, and it's, I think it's made in the same place. They're all made by the same company, and they're just being distributed uh, in, in various ways. Uh, the other uh, cable that I would like to talk about, and let me see if I have that one still. Yeah. And that's the one from Amazon, and it's by Install Gear 10 gauge, and that's basically uh, this one here. That's just a different color you can get them in, and uh, and they claim to be 99% uh, oxygen-free copper. Uh, it looks good. I listened to it and measured it. I mean, uh, it sounded really good too. Um, <laughs> it's about uh, 50 feet basically for $54 Canadian, uh, so you can do the math, so roughly less than a dollar a foot per, uh, for this kind of speaker. And uh, it is 10 gauge, and it is a true 10 gauge, they're not, uh, they're not uh, often they'll say 10 gauge, but you measure this like 8, or, but this one is a true. So it's a good indication that they're saying 99% oxy oxygen free copper and probably it is. One more thing, if you want your cables to look uh, more professional, uh, you could add, especially for the speaker wire that doesn't have any sleeving, you can get expandable sleeving, it's called PET, expandable sleeving, and uh, basically what you do is you uh, put the uh, cable into the sleeving and you push it through and you get a lot, a lot nicer, it's kind of like what I did with this one. In this case I put two cables in here, but this is just one for example. So that's one. The other thing is uh, adding uh, shrink tubes. Shrink tubes is a basically how keeps things more tidy and uh, it's kind of like what I did here. These are called shrink tubes. So you put, uh, in this case, I think I need a bigger shrink tube, something like that. So you put the shrink tube here, and uh, basically you you heat the shrink tube with an air gun, or even a lighter could do if you have a really low budget, but you have to go fast. And uh, the tube will shrink, and it makes it look nice and uh, terminated. You can get different expandable uh, I mean, uh, shrink tubes. Some of them are more heavier and they're good for like uh, something more uh, sturdy and bigger uh, cables. Uh, and you end up with a nicer looking uh, uh, termination this way. Uh, I will be making another video just on this subject and I'll go into detail on how to actually uh, put a cable together and how to use shrink tube. It will help you make your cables look a little nice and, and, and tidy. So I hope I was able to give you guys some ideas on uh, how like, uh, to get some decent speaker wires for very little amount of money. Uh, I try to keep my videos simple. I'm not big on the big formulas and the big uh, you know how many nanofarads the capacitance it's this or that. Uh, I believe in more of listening. Uh, I do like measurements and yes I will look at measurements but at the end of the deal the ultimate test is a blind A-B testing with few different people if you can and uh, so if you, you have some nice speaker wire you'd like to upgrade for probably $50, $100 mostly you can get some of these and try them for yourself and, and listen. Also this is just a couple of many ideas out there. I would like to know what you guys like and what is your favorite uh, speaker wire that you can find for like a reasonable amount of money. I think by sh all of us sharing our ideas we can uh, we can get to uh, and diversify because we all different we all have different ideas and if we all pitch in and share what your speaker wire is and uh, the readers could actually make some conclusions and, and decide what's best for them if you have any ideas on what is a really great speaker cable uh, uh, 
please put a uh, comment in the in the comment below and let us know what you what you like and what do you think is a great uh, cable for not a huge amount of money. Anyway, so uh, hopefully uh, this helped anyone. Uh, if you like my videos, please subscribe. It really helps keeps the channel going, and uh, I hope to see you again.